Hello guys, and welcome back to uh, Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. Uh, let's continue on with the Caves of Narsh here. So I do want to pick up that chest in the north. <laughs> but this one, uh, the one to the left is going to be useful. It's going to have a sweeping bag. Later on it's going to have like a tent or something. And uh, tents are far less useful to me in uh, a solo playthrough than sleeping bags. Oh no. But it's fine. Uh, she's gonna become unconscious pretty soon anyway. Forgot to remove her shield, but it is what it is. <coughs> So here we are, we're going to be using Locke and a whole bunch of Moogles to save Terra. <coughs> and remember that uh, solo is not yet started. Because I found that if I, if I try to solo this part with the Moogles, it's, it's very difficult because uh, there are a couple of enemies which use Snowstorm. And uh, those those dogs hit pretty hard as well. Well, they don't exactly hit pretty hard, but their their damage adds up, and uh, this one becomes very difficult to do. And you you can't even you can't even grind your way out of it. So felt it's pretty unnecessary this early in the game. We'll get some challenging bosses later. Not to worry. Oh, hello, hello! So there's Terra, Celis, General Leo, and Kefka. <laughs> Alright, so in this version, uh, they don't do that uh, salute. And Terra's just standing there. Why is there no slave crown on her head? It's Treasure Hunter! Alright, so we're going to be dividing up into three teams. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take all the regular encounters with uh, the nameless group of Moogles, the unimportant group of Moogles, and then take on the boss with uh, Mog's team. Actually, I do want Mog to take one encounter so he can learn a dance, which is Mog's team. This is Mog's team. Damn it, Locke, get out of the way! Alright. Mog, you're up. And we can dash here! That's... yeah, that, that is uh, very useful. Do a lot of battle this. Don't really care if we take any damage. With a full party, this should be pretty trivial. Alright, Mog learned Requiem. So let's get him out. And the third group of Moogles. It's okay, everyone can stay in the front row. These guys are going to take the bulk of the action here. <clears throat> Man, look at how much damage they do. Wonder if that was uh, increased in this version. I think these guys can take out the boss too. And it feels like we reduced the number of encounters here.
Yeah, this this is the dude I was talking about. He spams Snowstorm and he does so much damage. Alright, let's get Morgan. I'm gonna unequip him. He's got a very useful missile shield. <laughs> we get boss music? I don't remember boss music for this. Yeah, snare is so useful. How frequent is it? Can we snare the boss? Oh, damn. Oh, that was easy. I was hoping for a snare on the boss. There we go. The sequence uh, was easy enough. You know the first time I played this uh, when Vox says, I'll keep you safe, I promise, until your memory returns? I thought it was just a uh, typical RPG protagonist guy <coughs> hitting on anything, anything with a scot. But turns out there's a bit of backstory for him. So I like that. I mean, still no excuse, but at least he's got plausible deniability. Okay, this is a monster in a box which does not even give us an item. This, sh yeah, there's an item here. I think ethers are going to be rather important for uh, early game. <coughs> Another sleeping bag, useful. Nothing there. Potion. Nothing there, okay. So let's get out, and the first thing I need to do is kill off Locke. So for this part, uh, Dara's gonna be solo. I mean, I think we can give her the Mitchell Shield. Everybody's fully healed up. <coughs> that sprite looks so weird. I don't know why. She seems to have overly large shoes. Alright guys, I'm going to call this here for today. And next time, we'll check out Castle Figaro. Later.